Now it's time for Media Watch, a roundup of some of the stories making the news across China. Producers and crew members shooting the new Water Margin TV series are waiting to hear what they'll have to do to repair damage to well-known wetland nature reserve. According to Sohu.com, the 300-strong crew entered the wildlife sanctuary on the Yellow River without permission to shoot battle scenes for the TV drama. An official at the reserve, commonly known as the Lung of Zhengzhou, said around seven acres of pristine habitats were destroyed. In addition, rare birds were scared off with gunfire and explosions, and the noise upset the ecological balance of the wetland. After the incident made local media headlines, the crew published an open apology. The movie producers agreed to plant over 100 trees within the nature preserve to remind people about environmental protection. But reserve officials are still calculating the damage and say the offer may not be enough. The Global Times reports that four reservoirs in the province of Hebei are expected to have to supply the capital, Beijing, with water again this year. But the article says the details of the delivery plan are still being negotiated by the Beijing and Hebei governments. The temporary solution to slake Beijing's insatiable thirst is intended to bridge the gap until the south-to-north water diversion project is completed in 2014. According to statistics from the city's water authority, there was a shortfall of about 1.5 billion cubic feet of water last year. While the Hebei government has said in principle it will continue to relieve the pressure in Beijing, it says it's also facing shortages. It warns that water for irrigation is a priority and reservoirs are lower this year than last due to the ongoing drought in northern China. Now the Shanghai Daily reports on a novel suggestion by a member of the city's top political advisory body. The plan aims to take some of the pressure off young people looking for accommodation in a city where property prices and rents have soared in recent times. The idea involves expanding the low-rent housing program and constructing neighborhoods of college dorm-style apartments. The paper says the properties would be especially suitable for new graduates and first-time job seekers. The mini apartments would be as small as 130 square feet and simply furnished, but the good news would be a monthly rent of as little as $44 a month. Shanghai's local government recently set a target of supplying 300,000 low-rent apartments by 2012, but some government officials are worried the budget home program has too many loopholes and could be open to abuse by speculators, something that has happened in other cities. Now, a giant panda breeding research centre in Sichuan province is looking for holiday help. The research base for giant panda breeding wants to recruit volunteers from around the world to help care for giant pandas during the upcoming Chinese New Year or Spring Festival holiday, when many of its usual staff will take leave. Now, the China Daily reports that any panda fan aged between 18 and 45 and with a college degree can apply for the positions. Volunteers will be expected to work at least two days between February the 14th and the 28th, and those with fluent English will get preference. The breeding research centre is located in the mountains of the southwestern province of Sichuan. Scientists there try to encourage the notoriously infertile animals to breed more successfully. Giant pandas are among the world's most endangered animals. There are about 1,600 giant pandas living in the wild in China, mostly in Sichuan and the northwestern provinces of Shanxi and Gansu. And finally, a Chinese Google knockoff site is pleading with the real Google to stay in China despite censorship and hacking allegations. The Hunan Business Daily reports that Guje appeared on January the 14th. Now, the name is a play on words. The final syllable, Jie, sounds like the Chinese word older sister, while the second syllable of Google is pronounced in Chinese like the Chinese word for older brother. Guje.com has a search engine and provides social networking services. Its homepage bears a Google-styled logo that combines the hallmarks of the U.S. company and China's top search engine, Baidu. A message on the website says, Sister was very happy when brother gave up the thought of leaving and stayed for his sister in an apparent call for Google to stay in China. And that's all for today's Media Watch. In fact, that's all we have from the team here at BON News. Many thanks for watching.